Hello, my name is Cesar Sepulveda. I'm a second year seminarian here at Queen of Angels. My home parish is Our Lady of Guadalupe in El Monte. And I basically grew up in that parish. I started um, altar serving there when I was nine and I continued uh, youth ministry at the Annunciation in Arcadia. And I continued there until I graduated high school and then I ended up applying to seminary. So I continued altar serving and in the youth ministry. And I think it was in the youth ministry where I started to find my calling to the priesthood because it was something impact, something like that impacted my life in such a big way and just revealing who God is. And it was there that I found a deeper connection with God. And I understood more of what it meant to go to Mass, what it meant to have the Eucharist, what it meant to have adoration. And in the youth ministry, something that always stood out to me was that people would go to the reach, our retreats and sometimes they'll come in sad, depressed, like they don't even want to be there. And they'll come out with like such joy. They'll come out with such love and they're like, Jesus, I felt Jesus today. I know he's in my life. I know he loves me. And I was like, you know what? There's something going on here. And I was like, and I, I want to know more. And then I'll talk to them. And, it, and then just by being there, I think we were able to be a support for them. And I was like, if I could give the love of God to them now, how much more could I give as a priest? How much more could I help them if I were to become a priest? And those ideas just kind of stuck out to my head. But it, they were just there. I never really thought or embraced them or anything. I continued middle school, high school, and my my um, goal was to become a music director. So I wanted to study music because I was in band since middle school all throughout high school. But then when I started getting into my junior year, I think I started questioning more of what do I want to do with my life? Um, I'm applying to colleges soon and I was like, where is God calling me? Because something that the youth ministry always talked about was do what God wants you to do because that's what's truly going to make you happy. And yes, I love music, but something that I loved more than music was serving God. And like, I if I ever had a choice to go between serving or retreats or going to mass and my competition or band and music, I would definitely prefer Jesus. And so for me, it was like, maybe that route is he's calling me to his priesthood. And I remember that I was in adoration this one night and then it was just something that I needed. I've, I had been dealing with some personal problems with like my family and I just needed to talk to Jesus at that, that time. And I remember coming out of that holy hour so peaceful, so loved by God. And I felt like those problems I had just went away. And for me, it was something like, wow, Jesus really works between us. And I was like, if Jesus is able to do that for me, take that away from me, I want to help others experience Jesus. And so that was kind of like a confirmation for me of like, you know what, maybe priesthood. And so I started reaching out to the vocation directors and I found out that there was more people that were actually discerning that were my age also. And so that was something that was pretty pretty amazing because at first I thought it was oh it's just me or like it's it, it's only a thought that I have like no other young guy is gonna want to become a priest or maybe it's just me and so when I started applying and going to the retreats that they had you start meeting other other people that also other teens other youth that also want to become priests or are thinking about priesthood and that just made myself feel better like I'm not the only one there's are other people that wish to continue and embrace their life with Jesus in a more deep way in maybe even priesthood. And so I decided to apply to seminary because I was like, I want to go in and find out that it wasn't for me. Then stay with that doubt of like, maybe I could have become a priest. Maybe I could have been a priest. And so I applied and I'm here now. And these last two years have been amazing and I wouldn't change it for a thing. And I think that from the, my first year to now, my vocation just has gotten stronger. And I've been able to say that this is definitely something I want to do. I've been able to meet different people, been able to talk to different teens, people in my parish, and just help out in different ways and gotten to appreciate and love God more and just devote myself fully to a service. That's what I want to do because I want to be able to bring people to Jesus, be there with them, walk with them in their in their life with Jesus and I don't think I would trade any I would I wouldn't trade this for anything else in the world